Hi there, here I wanted to talk about a great little freebie plugin that has really saved me some time and I think I've been using it for maybe about six months now. It's a plugin that allows you from the front end of Beaver Builder to change your SEO and page settings. And it doesn't matter what theme you're using for this, it works perfectly. And it's developed by a French developer called Terry Pigot. I think that's how you say his name. And he is a WordPress developer and he also does some development of modules for Beaver Builder. So if you're looking for a custom module, he's probably the guy to talk to because he certainly knows his stuff. Here I'm on a, a subdomain of his main site and the English version and halfway down we'll see we've got a couple of plugins available. The one we're looking at is called Toolbox Module for Beaver Builder. So if I click on that and all the links will be available under the video, it takes us to uh, his Gip hub page and if you're not familiar with github don't worry it's something where developers uh, keep their code and keep track of it and share it with other developers but you don't need to have an account or be signed in you just need to find this button called clone or download click on that and download the zip to your desktop and from there you can just upload it the way you would normally upload a wordpress plugin so let's uh oh no let's quickly have a look at the description on the bottom here so we have some uh, basic description of the settings here so these are the page settings that are available and you'll see them later but it also describes which seo plugins that it works with it works with wordpress seo the yoast one all-in-one seo and genesis and a couple of others these three major ones here are the ones that i've tried it on and it works perfectly so uh, I, I suspect it works with everything well and also just by coincidence i see that he's taken a bit of code from a guy called brent jett who i was just reading today uh, is part of the Beaver Builder team. It was just mentioned in the July 2016 update. So he joins the Beaver Builder team and I completely love his name, Brent Jett. Sounds like somebody who's going to get stuff done. Sounds like a superhero, Brent Jett. Anyway, slight distraction. Let's go back to the plugin. I've already installed it and activated it and it's on here and we can see that I'm already in the page builder where I should be. Uh, so when it's in you will see that you get this extra setting called page settings an extra button here if i click on that it normally opens up on the page details tab here where we can change all our page settings so that's the page title and we can just start typing in whatever we like we can also change the url over here and i noticed it improved it since when i first tried it so you can't make a mistake now if you try and change anything there it will bring up a warning to say, do you really want to do that? Because obviously on a live site, we really wouldn't want to be changing the address unless we had good reason. So we can't do that by accident. Uh, we can also set our parent and child pages with this. And we can also select what page template we're going to use. And I'm on the Beaver Builder theme here. So we've got these three available to us. And you may have noticed there was a little flash of save. So it's been Ajax, so it can do some automatic saving for you. Um, this is the bit that I particularly like the SEO. Now, in this case, I've got uh, the Yoast WordPress SEO plugin, which has got a lot of options in it. But here it just brings forward the main ones that we need, which is the meta title and the meta description. And most of the time in the quick work that we're doing, we're not paid for doing SEO. This is all that we're generally filling in. Uh, and it gives you some hints here on what how many characters you should be using for optimum SEO. So 60 there and 160 for the description and you just type in and you I like this it's very cool if you look over the top here you'll just see as I type in uh, it's actually sort of changing it live there and all it's doing is it's just putting that information into your SEO plugin directly let me show you one other little cool thing as well I've just got this prepared this is actually 60 characters here and if I just paste that in, you'll see it remains that color. But if I just go over my numbers, it goes to red. And the same thing happens on the meta description. So it gives you a, a visual hint as well as doing all the saving as you're going along. Um, so it does a lot of the work for you. So I really like this plugin. Now, just one thing to say about it, which I kind of mentioned, is the fact that you could just uninstall it and there's not going to be any issues. Because it's on GitHub and it's not set up, to give you updates but that's not really going to matter you could just use it 
and uh, get rid of it when you finish with development. Just sort of speeds up your work when you're setting up a site. And the other thing, I guess, to mention, I did test it because we're in a period where there was so much development, so many new plugins coming out, there might be conflicts. So I actually installed all the ones that I've got, which uh, include, let's have a look, uh, I've got uh, Beaver Lodge, I've got Beaver Tunnels, I've got a few other freebies that I've got power pack for Beaver Builder and I've also got the ultimate add-ons for Beaver Builder all active and this works perfectly with all of those. So I think that pretty much covers it. I hope it might be useful to you. Uh, certainly uh, want to thank Terry for his great work on this and making it available. I did uh, call out to him and he said, you know, sure, share it. And he hopes it will be of use to someone. So that's me done and I shall catch you on the next video. Thanks for listening to me. Bye-bye.